Government of India has brought in long-awaited reforms in defence production by creating seven new defence companies as a replacement to the Ordnance Factory Board. Presenting to you the seven new companies. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited or India headquartered at Kanpur will be a dominant supplier of critical weapons and equipment to the Indian Armed Forces and will serve as an important cog to war readiness. All India's eight production units are at Kanpur, Jabalpur, Kasipur, Korwa, Tiruchirappalli and Ishapur. All India has an expertise in manufacturing rifles, naval guns, armoured vehicle gun system, rocket launchers, machine guns, shotguns, grenade launchers, carbines, mortar, sniper rifles, anti-material rifles and pistols and revolvers. All India's aim to grow and assist India in achieving self-reliance in weapons and equipment, increase product diversification and export. It currently attains revenue of 1,660 crore rupees and is expected to attain a revenue of 4,000 crore rupees by 2024-25. Armoured Vehicles Nigam Limited Avani has expertise in manufacturing defence mobility and combat vehicles such as MBTs, UCVs, trolls, MPVs and engines and will march forward with five production units at Avadi, Jabalpur, Medak and Ambarnath which are part of the military's defence structure. Avani enjoys market leadership and has a monopoly in the armoured combat vehicle market with an order book of more than 30,000 crore rupees. It has the potential to explore export markets it currently attains a revenue of 3,365 crore rupees and is expected to attain a revenue of 7,300 crore rupees by 2024-25. Munitions India would become a primary provider of critical ammunition to the Indian Armed Forces and be an enabler for national security and operational readiness. Munitions India's 12 production units are at Kadki, Aruvankaru, Tiruchirapalli, Bhandara, Bolangir, Chandrapur, Dihu Road, Itarsi, Kamaria, Nalanda and Barangao, which would provide small and large arms, ammunition, explosives, detonators, projectiles, propellant, specialized chemicals, grenades, charges and bombs. Munitions India enjoys a monopoly within its product portfolio and has a large potential for growth by producing import substitutes. It currently attains a revenue of 4,752 crore rupees and is expected to attain a revenue of 11,100 crore rupees by 2024-25. Yantra India, a dominant supplier in the defense manufacturing supply chain. Yantra India's eight production units are at Jabalpur, Ambarnath, Ambajhari, Bhusaval, Dumdum, Katni, and Muradnagar, which would manufacture carbon fiber composites, components for medium and large caliber ammunition, components for armored vehicles, artillery guns, and main battle tanks or MBTs, glass composites, aluminium alloys, etc. Yantra India is expected to contribute to nation building through product diversification in sectors such as auto components and composites and will serve as a critical cog in the defense manufacturing ecosystem. It currently attains a revenue 
of 1,287 crore rupees and is expected to attain a revenue of 2,400 crore rupees by 2024-25. Riders India will steer course with its production unit at Kanpur, which has a production portfolio of tactical assault parachutes, troop parachutes, aircraft brake parachutes, man carrying parachutes, supply drop parachutes, pilot parachutes, and high altitude parachutes. Midas India with a monopoly in specialized parachutes aims to diversify into the domestic, civilian and recreation markets. It also has the potential to export parachutes and other rubber-based products. It currently attains a revenue of 123 crore rupees and grow to a revenue of 400 crore rupees by 2024-25. Troop Comforts is a key force in India's quest for Atmanirbhar Bharat in the field of technical textiles and apparel. Troop Comforts aims to protect those who protect us. Troop Comforts for production units are at Avadi, Shah Jahanpur, Kanpur and Hazratpur. The major products manufactured would be uniforms, tents, jackets, textile items, shoes and boot crampons. Troop Comforts would play a primary role in provisioning the Indian Armed Forces with critical clothing equipment and accessories. It has the potential to diversify into broader product segments such as extreme cold climate clothing, protective textile for non-defense applications such as adventure sports. It currently attains a revenue of 776 crore rupees and is expected to attain a revenue of 1100 crore rupees by 2024-25 India Optel is a niche player in the manufacturing of opto electronics and accessories for electrical equipment India Optel with its three production units at Chandigarh and Dehradun would manufacture optical sights, optical devices, components for night vision devices, laser sighting devices, wires and cables assemblies and rifle scopes. India Optel has a strong growth potential in domestic markets owing to its market leadership in manufacturing sites for armored vehicles increase in demand for opto-electronic devices in defense and non-defense equipment. It currently attains a revenue of 691 crore rupees and is expected to attain a revenue of 1,700 crore rupees by 2024-25. So, here they are, the seven new companies. Wishing the seven new stars of defense production the very best and dedicating them to India on the occasion of our 75th year of independence. The tricolor flies high as the nation celebrates Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav and India resolutes once again to be Atma Nirbar Bharat. <laughs>